moment and said scene two. I conjure that twister up back in Missouri and think that it steadily gathered in fury. All day on its way it's been coiling and curling, ceiling and spiraling, whirling and twirling, a towering cone of searing wind, the whip of the dust as it rides and spins. With maximum slant on its axis I geared it, the note of its howl ever rising in pitch. Over mile after mile it squeaked and it screeched, until, as you saw, it finally reached that back of beyond little Kansas farm. And caused, I'm afraid, a great deal of alarm. But didn't do anyone any real harm. Dear Uncle Henry, and kind Aunt Em, who was hurt nice folk like them? No, no one was hurt. That was part of the plan. But what was the point? I'll explain if I can. You see, Dorothy's such a romantic child with her head in the clouds and her dreams so wild that they might be straight out of a picture book. And of late she has brought such a wistful look that I thought an adventure in Munchkin Land might give her a dream. So I promptly planned for the cyclone to snatch up the house with her in it. And that's why Miss Dorothy, this very minute, is up to 9,000 miles high in the sky. I granted her wish that one day she could fly over the rainbow. Well, it's come true. I hope she enjoyed it, and you do too. I had the power. 
house, the landlord would have been rid of the creature long ago. She was a very good kid indeed. Oh, thanks. No, it's mine. Haven't you asked the Munchkin? Where are they? Oh, around. Munchkin, come out. Come out, I say. It's not the witch. Dorothy, girl.
Thank you. 